Hello and welcome to the third and final installment of the Blood Raven painting tutorials. In this episode we will be having a look at how to freehand the chapter icon. Uh, I'll be doing some do's and don'ts and uh, throwing in a few tips as well. So stay tuned. So before we get started, just make sure that you do click the subscribe button and a little bell icon next to it uh, so that you get the notifications for when I do further videos like this uh, and the 40k conquest videos as well. Um, on the note of 40k conquest videos, check out Big Mac Dan Skull, the link is in the description below. He does uh, the reviews on the issues when they come out and uh, he expands upon the information inside and uh, really sort of gives it a bit more uh, depth as well. And he's also just started doing his own showcases as well. So what he's been up to with the conquest models and uh, his, his color scheme and stuff like that. So definitely go check him out. And finally, I do have a Patreon account now. So please go check that out. Um, if you just want to support the channel, that would be amazing that you have a, a dollar a month feature there. Um, and if you want to access the full tutorials, so unabridged, mostly unedited, and uh, you get more of a feeling of, of why I'm doing certain color schemes and uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing, the techniques that I do, then go check that out. It's a little bit more but it'll be worth it because it helps invest back into the channel so i can get better software better hardware and better equipment to paint up and do more videos for you guys so please do support the channel it means so much to me without further ado let's get to painting now here's the tricky stuff that i go so got my artificer and what I need is some Avalon Black. And now what you have to do is do a few practice rounds. You want to water it down quite a lot. And uh, for this you can, I'm not sure if you can buy transfers online. You might be able to. Um, or you can use a pen. You can use a pen as well. So first of all, let's just practice on the palette. So first of all, let's go through the don'ts. So this first bit is all going to be about how not to approach the project. So check that out. Yeah, I'll do it on here. Right, so if I remember rightly, you want to do a little body like that. Sort of like an elongated triangle. And then a little round thing here with the beak out like that and then you go up out and down up out and down and then what you want to do is then do one two three Go at this direction, fill it out. Sticking out the body a bit. Okay, so now that you know how not to approach this project, let's check out how you should approach the project right now. Okay, so after a little bit of practice, trying to get the tail out, the tail's a bit of a fail on there, but I could practice it a bit more. But that's the general idea of the wings. I've had to refer to the uh, Space Moon chapter poster that I got. Um, totally forgot I had that hanging up on the wall behind me. Um, but that gave me a better idea of what it looks like. So it doesn't look like this, it looks more like this with the blood drop on the chest. So 
in order to do this um, you have to sort of map it out a little bit so what you want to do uh, you do the beak and a little head like that and then you bring one straight line down by like that far and you just flesh it out a little bit like so it's like drawing with a paintbrush instead of a pen and when you get to that bottom you then want to do one straight line down line out like that a line out like this and then one in between and then what you do is you just flesh them out like so so this isn't perfect I'm just rushing this a little bit so you get something similar to that then the wings so just below the head you go up a little bit you do a little curve up and then it's almost straight out but slightly down like so and then you do the same on the other side a little curve and then almost straight like that now here comes the tricky bit doing the feathers so make sure it's nice and wet because remember the thinner it is when you're painting on the um, on the actual uh, shoulder pad the easier it is to paint back over it right so one two three okay so you want one line going from around there to this point and then you want three smaller ones going off to that point there so that should have gone over a bit more like that and that should go over a bit more like that like that and then you do the same on the other side but you just make that thicker like that and then there's a it's a little bit of fuzz there and then you just keep continue to thicken it out so that there's no gap So you want it thicker at the base, thinner at the tip, like that. And you see, it is a bit of a mess. But if I was doing it on the shield, oh sorry, the shoulder pad, that was when I would get the rack off flesh, and I'd just neaten up a little bit like that. Like Tipex. Right. So there you go. You got the general idea there. And then with the red. So once you've done that, and you're happy with how you do it, I think it's a Mephiston red. And. Um, you will have to highlight the red because it's a blood drop after all and Mephiston red is good base colour but it's not uh, very bright you want to do a upside down teardrop so you go from a point and you go outwards and then do a round belly and do the other, on the other side like that and you're essentially covering the body of the raven Okay. 
Okay, so I, there you go. So that's roughly what you're aiming for. So now the moment of truth. Let's do it on this shoulder pad here. Wish me luck. So, freehand, this is my best shot, so, so it looks quite long with short wings, but that's because the way that the shoulder pad curves, if you see like that, the wings are actually quite long, um, it's just the body is a bit longer than it needs to be. Uh, when I did uh, get the outline out of Picking it out with the Abdon Black. Um, it's very watered down. You just have to build the layers up just so if you do make any mistakes, it's easier to scribble out. Um, and I used uh, the Yipshapti bone to sort that out. And then went over with the with the mix of the uh, Upshapti bone and Pallid Witch Flesh. So it doesn't look out of place with the uh, rest of the surface. So for the blood drop, I did the Mephiston Red, I then did 50-50 Mephiston Red and Wild Rider Red, which is this one. And then I did a small highlight, it's a little one, with the uh, Wild Rider Red. There we go. So you can see there's a little line that just goes down from almost at the top, down one side and just loops down the bottom the wild rider red just to give it some dimension mm. Dawnstone Dawnstone to add just a little extra depth to the freehand design here So there you go, that's freehanding that. So as you can see, it does take a lot of practice, a lot of patience, but with that dedication, you can actually get pretty decent results. And if you get the techniques down, if you just map out what you wanna paint uh, and just get a good idea of where it's gonna go, then the rest just falls in place. And you can always touch up later on. So. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please, please do subscribe um, so you get your notifications for more videos like this. And again, please do check out my Patreon account so you can help support the channel. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.